All right, um, I tried recording videos earlier. It was actually last week, and I uh, had written out all these scripts for the course. I was reading from the scripts. I was writing code directly related to those scripts, and uh, I was listening back to the videos, and I was not terribly impressed. So uh, I don't know. I always liked my instructors when I was learning things to be more loose and free-flowing. Um, I also feel like students learn more from mistakes that the instructors make because you can watch me make the mistake and go, oh, don't, you know, uh, don't do that. Or if I see this error, it was because I, he made this mistake. That way, when you make the mistake yourself, like when I'm writing a script, it's just too polished for me, I think. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to try and free ball it. And I hope it's entertaining. I hope you learn a lot. Um, another reason I tried to decided to shy away from the scripts is um, I feel like the content is more important than the execution of the content. Like I feel like I need to pick things that are very interesting and from a different perspective than the standard EOS course is going to give you. Um, so I've tried to focus more on the content and less on the execution. Um, hopefully that keeps you engaged and I hope you learn a lot in this course. Um, to begin, we're going to look at some very basic C++ code because um, EOS smart contracts are obviously written in C++. Um, the majority of C++, you probably actually don't really need to know for EOS development, but we're going to go through the very, very basics, and then after that, we'll talk about um, EOS-specific C++. There will be things like scoping, um, macros, uh, I, I'm, I'm often in the Telegram chat, so I'm watching what developers are struggling with coming from other languages into C++, and those seem to be the key problems. So we'll focus more on those. We'll do a little bit of C++ right up front. It'll be very basic, and then we'll jump right into EOS. Uh, another thing, I, when I took courses, I didn't like when an instructor would go through certain things in mundane detail. Like, you and I log into Udemy, not because we want some giant broad master class of the language of C++. If you want that, you can go to another class and take that there. But if you're here for EOS, you want to learn EOS. So I'm going to teach you EOS. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about C++ other than what you're going to need to know to learn about EOS. Um, with that said, let's get started with the basic C++ program. Um, a good place to start, obviously, is Hello World. So as I said, I've created a couple of videos previously, and in, in these videos, I created the Hello World program. So let's uh, take a look at what I coded previously. Most of the other lectures, I'll actually write the code with you. Um, it's just these two lectures I had started already. I realized the scripts were terrible. Uh, I don't want to do a course that way, so uh, these two are actually written already. So what we'll do is we'll look, look at them and uh, kind of talk them over. So uh, this is a basic C++ program. Again, uh, hopefully you don't need to know too much C++ to get a good idea, but when you're reading through other people's smart contracts, it, it'll be helpful to know C++ syntax and kind of the general idea of how libraries are pulled in, things like that. Um, so let's start from the very top line. Um, here we're including IO streams. So what we're doing is we're including the library that comes with the standard C++ code um, called IO stream and that lets us use the functions C out and N line that you're seeing there, right? Um, those allow you to write things to the console of different types. Um, underneath that line we're using using namespace standard. Um, if we didn't have that line we would have to scope these two and scope them specifically to the standard namespace. Um, it's not terribly important right now. It, it, it is important in EOS though and we'll talk about that uh, later in a more advanced C++ lecture and how EOS uses scoping extensively. For now, I just added the line so we could actually have the discussion. Um, after that, we have the main function, right? This is like a main entry point for any sort of coding. Uh, assuming you know even like the most basic coding, you know typically there's a main entry point. In C++, it's, uh, um, it's necessary. Like the, the code won't compile if, if you don't have that main entry point. Um, underneath that, all we're doing is printing out Hello World. So now you know how to print out Hello World in C++. Uh, if we exit out of this code and run it, we should see Hello World printed. Um, sorry. Uh, 
one thing to note is like when you do compile your C++ code, um, it it will check for syntax because C++ is a compiled language, whereas you know some of these other languages like uh, JavaScript are interpreted. So you really don't know if you have a syntax error until that branch of code gets ran. But in C++, you run it, and you'll know immediately. Okay. I have a syntax error on line X, whatever that ends up being. Uh, that's one of the reasons why EOS is written in C++. It's a much safer, it's a much older language than something like Solidity. Um, so let's run this. It gets compiled successfully. That means there was no syntax errors. I'm good there. Um, you'll see I have that A out. That's, that's um, where the C++ compiler will put the program when you're done compiling it. And then you can now execute it in any other uh, type of language in in Linux you use the dot slash so uh, we see hello world as expected um, one thing I've specifically kept out of this course is setting up the compilers and all that other stuff just because again I don't want to focus on G++ C++ specifically this is an EOS course and I want to make it as dense and compact and useful as possible without I don't want you as students to spend three months going through this course in order to write smart contracts. I want you to be able to do that within maybe a week or two of watching these videos. Um, so you're gonna have to hack through figuring out how to get your compiler, how to get everything set up. Uh, essentially you want to get to this point right here where you can write this hello world program, compile it and run it and see it printed out to your console and then you'll know you're on the same page as I am. Um, I know I'm making a lot of assumptions with that though so if you do have any problems uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll add my Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, all that stuff, uh, and I'll help you work through your compiler issues. Um, if I do find that plenty and tons of students are having these issues, then I will upload some videos and go through setting up the compiler in a bunch of different operating systems. Um, so there's a Hello World program. After that, we're going to go into like basic programming constructs that most people should already be familiar with but it'll be useful to look at them in C++ specific syntax so we'll look at things like if statements, structs, um, maybe for loops, while loops, things like that. Um, structs particularly because they come up often in um, EOS smart contract development. Uh, okay see you in the next video.